Okay, so despite what the title says in this video, Fast Trader does not have an actual time machine, but it does allow you to go back in time in the stock market world. There is a new feature in Dash Trader called Replay, and you can get it if you ask, if you email the support at dashtrader.com, but I believe it's $15 a month extra on top of whatever you're paying now but it is a very cool feature and allows you to go back and back test and then uh, you know look at previous days um, stock stocks how they performed and, and look at their charts and all that stuff you can let it actually play um, in real time or sped up so it's, it's a pretty cool feature so I'm gonna show you real quick how to use it first of all you have to have a certain version you have to have a newer version I don't know what what version it actually starts in but the version I have is 5.4.7.1 if you see here so you can you can get that by going up to help and about and then look up here where it says version and you can see mine says 5.4.7.1 so that's what I have it may not be the one that you need to have but it's going to be one close to that because it's a very it's a fairly new feature so in order to use it you go up to file and data stream mode okay you're gonna get this window here and what you're gonna do is you're gonna change here where it says normal or it says quote mode normal change that to replay and then you're gonna hit apply and it's gonna ask you are you sure you want to switch to replay quote mode you say okay now you're in replay mode now that's not the only thing you have to do. Now you have to tell it to download a specific ticker or stock that you want to view the past data on. So for this example, I'm gonna look at, let's say, let's look at cake, which is Cheesecake Factory. Okay, so I put that in right here. And then you're gonna go look at the at the date, you're gonna change the date. So the day I want to, to view cake on is actually March 26th. You can't see that you just selected that. You can see the day is March or the month is March. If you click on this drop down, you can see it again, but it's, you know, it's a Thursday, but you can't see that it's kind of cut off here, but that's okay. We know it's selected. Click on download now. That will download all the data for that day for that stock. And you see that really quick, it downloaded, it showed the percentage, and it, now it says downloaded. So now it's ready to go. And it also changed this down here. Now it will show replay cake that day that we downloaded, and we have these options here. We can go play, we can hit stop. All that doesn't apply because we're not playing anything yet. You can hit load and go to, and then you can change the speed. And then here is also the time. So I'm gonna change, oh, one thing. There is no level two data at this moment. There will be time and sales here, but there's no level two. So that is kind of a, you know, kind of a drawback there, but um, it's better than nothing, right? So now I can hit play, but see how I have spy selected on my montage here? We're gonna to need to change that to cake because we're not looking at spy, we're looking at cake. So I'm going to change that. Now I can hit play. Okay. So the thing is, it starts at four in the morning. So that's not very helpful because the stock market is pretty dead at four in the morning, right? So we're going to go to a specific time. We're going to go, we're going to go to, we'll go at, we'll go to nine, Let's see, 9.29 and 50 seconds a.m., okay? All right, so there we go. Now we're at, oh, I, I hit eight. Okay, sorry about that. Let me hit nine here. I put eight. Okay, go to. Okay, so here we go. Now we are at 
9.31 a.m. in 12 seconds, 13 seconds. So that's what we're watching right now. We're watching, and you can see that on the clock here, March 26, 2020, 9.31 a.m. I'm looking at the form, the one minute and the five minute chart. So not much action here, really. Um, this would not be a good stock to trade. I don't know. I had it as in play, but maybe it was not a good one for that day. Although it looks like it might be picking up now. So you can see this time in sales and, and the charts are moving just like as if it was happening in real time on that day at, at that time. And you can pause it, just hit pause. So you see how the clock stopped, everything stopped moving. Hit resume when you're ready. You can speed it up. So here it says one time, that means it's just, you know, one, just normal speed. One second is one second. If you speed it up, you can go two times, four times, eight times, 16 times, 32 times, so now we're really moving here. 64 times, 128 times, this is getting crazy, isn't it? 256 times, 512 times, and that's about all, you can't go any more than that. So let me just go back down to one time. And again, you can go to a specific time so let me just go back, or let me go to, um, let's say 1 p.m. Okay. So now we're looking at, now we jump to 1 p.m. Now it shows, you know, this in 24 hour time. So that's why it says 1300, in case you're not familiar with that. And if you look at the clock, it's showing the same thing, one o'clock. Let's say I wanted to go back, and, and you can go backwards too, of course. So you can go back to to right at open. So I'll go back to 9.30, or actually 9.29, 50 seconds a.m. So now we're right back there. So five, oh, let me hit, okay, no, it is going. Two, one, and the market is open again on this, and this is what we're looking at, cake. So that's a pretty cool feature. And now also you can actually take trades, um, you know, in your, in your simulator account, of course, you, you don't want to, you don't want to try this in your normal account. If you're doing this during uh, market hours, because you might actually place a trade. So make sure when you are, you know, practicing here, taking trades, make sure you have your training account selected. See minus TR and then that, that, that number. So I'm in my training account right now. So I could say, you know, I have see here, let me just put just to, just to show, I'll just place a, a market order, a buy market order of 50 shares. So see, it looks like I'm in the, you know, I, I as far as we're concerned, I, I took a trade there. You could see everything happening like it really would in, in market hours. I can see my PL here. Um, I, you see the arrow that I bought that Dash Trader normally shows. And then I can get out. Okay, so that is the basics of how this thing works. The only other thing I can show you now is that once you've done this a few times, you you get this list that builds up in your program. Um, so if you wanna go back and look at the same stock on the same day, you don't have to actually download it again. You can actually just click on here, load, and you can um, load, you know, double click, click on one of these and it will show you the ticker symbol here and then the date and you hit okay. And that will pull up that stock that you wanna try for that, you know, for, for now. So, I mean, you, you can download it again if you want to, if it's just easier for you. But um, just know that this list is here to use if you want to. If you want to look at the same stock the same day, you can just do that too. So when you're done, um, you know, you can hit stop. You don't have to hit stop. You can just close the program. Um, and if you are, say you want to go back to actual live trading, say you're doing this during market hours, you want to go back to your live trading, you just go back to file 
and data stream mode and then you would change this to normal and then hit apply and then hit OK and then now you're back in normal mode so now we're now we're looking at the actual market of course again though this is this is on a Sunday so the market is closed so nothing's gonna happen here um, but that's how you would do it so thanks for watching and hopefully this was helpful for you